Hello, this is Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy and this is a short presentation about the schizoid person and how to work relationally with the schizoid personality. Okay, let's, let's look at the features of the schizoid personality. Um, they will present passive, very passive actually. They'll present withdrawn withdrawn from you and withdrawn from themselves. Their energy will be low and they will have a don't be close injunction. Thirdly, they'll be highly adaptive to you. In other words, they will go along easily with what you suggest. They're very suggestible. They're very bright. They'll always turn up on time. They'll want to please you. They'll want to please other people. They'll want to be perfect. they want to get it right. But in all this, of course, they're really hiding the real self. They're hiding their authentic self. And of course, they have very much a dualist script and a don't enjoy junction. The treatment plan then, first of all, is to build up trust with this person. They have a really big don't trust in junction because they've been let down so much in the past and they don't trust anyone, let alone themselves really. The work with the schizoid personality is very, very slow. You need to be very patient and you need to not overwhelm this type of client at all. And how you would do this really would be um, asking questions around feelings, um, being too close to them, um, taken to the places that they actually can't deal with um, because they're too overwhelmed themselves internally. The major channels or contact doors of working with a schizoid personality is that um, you need first of all to contact them through behaviour. Then their thinking. And of course the area they don't like at all is feelings. So contact them through behaviour help them integrate their thinking and feeling and working towards integration of course is the final goal. It's most important that you come alongside the neglected hurt child the part of the child they're attempting to hide from you and you need to help them deal with their split up parts of the self often they're unaware of the split parts of the self. They're unaware that their um, physiological self might be split from their feeling self and the feeling self from their thinking self. So you need to help them be aware when they're coming from these different parts of themselves and particularly of course the parent, adult and ego state parts of themselves. The um, actual final goal is to help them heal and to integrate themselves in a unifying way so they can be aware of not only their feelings, not only their physical self, but also to be aware of how they think and how all the parts reorganise themselves and this is most important because they spent most of their time split off, withdrawn, passive, having problems in relationship with others, often being seen as detached and eccentric or odd. And that's because they're not in touch with parts of themselves. They spent most of their early life hiding, keeping away from others, keeping away in fact from themselves in many ways. Because that's how they protected themselves from the neglect and the hurt 
of the other people around them. So you're really dealing with the hidden child. And that's why it's so much patient psychotherapies need to get to that hidden part of the self and for them to trust you to take the first steps into the daylight and to become aware not only of themselves but there are other people around that could be trusted and wants to be with them and sees them important and sees their very being as important and vital. So you need to work in a very measured way with them. Lots of permissions to be as well as to um, feel and to be close with people. And in the end, as I said, it's very much around the goal of integration of the self and to heal the split off parts of their very being. Hope this was useful for you and um, thank you.